So for the past few weeks, uh, there has been nothing on my channel except videos of Doom and I believe one Resident Evil 3 demo video. I figured I'm gonna switch it up a little bit today. I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing new- or what's it called? Animal Crossing New Horizons? I think so. Anyway, welcome. Uh, I have no idea what the fuck this game is. So let's try it. Good evening, we're so excited to have you here. Have you here. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your Desert Island Getaway Package. There is much to look forward to, but first, let's introduce yourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. I've heard things about Tom Nook. He's a dickhead. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners, we're in it for a long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Hmm. I mean, I doubt they'd let you have, like, dick or something funny and what? Like something funny in this, so I'll just go with Gallo. Birthday? Don't know why I went that way. 1210. Yes. Gallo? Gallo? Let's see. Oh, yes. Here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Gallo. You'll be ready when you are. You are. Oh, God. Gotta customize? Don't I have, like, me's or something? Now, should I make it look like me? Or not like me? Let's try and go with me. Are these, th are these the only hairstyles? Uh, I mean, I guess this one's the closest? Black. Yep. Eyes. Where are the sad eyes? I might go with those. Or those Pac-Man eyes. Uh, here we go. Dopey eyes. Let's go with the eyes that are looking into your soul. And do I have a triangle, circle, or square nose? It feels like an octagon. I guess I'll go with triangle. Sure. Cheeks. No, no rosy cheeks. Confirm. How do I make him fatter? Great, you're all set. All set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, I'll start talking about your new home. So exciting! Exciting. You see, we're kind of proud of the work we've been- we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands both in the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, Gallo, where do you live now? Live now. North America. Ah, excellent. That information has really help, helps us focus on the right island for you. These assholes, next thing you know, they're going to add my address, social security, they're going to take it all away from me. So naturally, we recommend that you relocate to the island, to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make. Does that sound okay to you so far? So far? Sure. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands from in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one to, for your new home. New home. Why ain't you letting Tom talk at all, Timmy? Let Tom talk. Hmm. What to choose? I'll be honest. I never played the first Animal right Animal Crossing, so I don't even know what the hell this game's about. <laughs> I guess I'll go with this one. Sure. I like being surrounded by water. 
wonderful choice. Choice. I can't wait to show it off for you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you can only bring one thing with you to a desert island, what would it be? What would it be? Something to kill. Time. Some food, a lamp. I mean, not some food, all the food. No, I don't need light. I got bat eyes. I got cat eyes. Sleeping bag, don't care for. I can sleep on rocks. Kill time. Give me some video games. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just a hypothetical question. Look, Ink will fully cover your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The chartered flight to Nook's Inc. Desert Island Getaway Package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Together. Why are these two coming with me? Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s Deserted Island Getaway Package. Please sit back, relax, enjoy a complimentary video presentation about Deserted Island Life. You can't see it, but I'm bobbing my head. That's not me. Get off my island. Is that bug humping a tree? Why is a frog fishing? What the hell? Okay, so the animals are alive in this game. Oh yeah, wasn't one of these in, in Smash? I mean, of course they're alive. I just talked to two raccoons. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, ah, fish. Birthday parties. Aquariums. Sunsets. Friends. Everything you don't have, you shall have soon. A Nook Inc. production. Is that the company that made this game, or is that just a company in the game? Oh, where are we dropping? Parachute in. You thought this was Animal Crossing New Horizons? No, this is Animal Crossing Battle Royale. We're here. Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore this new island and home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be given a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now. If you'd like to move, I'll stick to follow us. Okay. Oh my god, my legs. They're working. I could walk. I can run. Who's this guy? Are you the bastard no one likes? Mr. Nook? Oh, these are like kids. Are these your kids, sir? Okay, what's the orientation? Butterfly. <laughs> Look at that face. Okay, get on with it. Alright, is that everyone? Let's see. One, two, three. Yes, they're here, you idiot. Hamlet. And there's Gallo, of course. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventures are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Tom Nook. You're the one no one likes. Not Tommy, Tom. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook, Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on the island, new life of this pristine, lovely island. So congrats. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I thought this was my island, not these two jerkheads. Two. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and... Ah, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just start with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and choose the spot to place it. 
Which one's which? How do I know? You. Tommy. Thank you. My very own tent. Once you find a perfect spot, press X to access your inventory and put Okay. Don't worry. You'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I'll probably be set up with a map, too. It's a map. It's a map. I've got a map. Once you've put your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need. Well, off you go. Hope you find a great spot. Thank you, Tommy. Uh, so how big is this map? Where's my map? There's the water. What? W. Nope. WWW. Oh, so you just talk. It's weird the map doesn't stay up. Alright, where did those other two put their tent? You. Are you Rocket or are you Hamlet? Which one are you? You're... Wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're Gallo, right? See, I told you I had it. I'm Rocket. I gotta tell you, I'm excited about this whole island thing room. Looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it's a pretty big decision. Of course, no matter where we settle down on the island, at least we're ne neighbors. Can I just live alone? I like being isolated. It's a stick. Pick up the stick. Bash. <laughs> Bash that thing over the head with it. Yo, I'm Hamlet. You're Gala, right? Nice to meet you, Hammy. So, find a good place for a tent? I'm looking to pitch mine somewhere. I can tell you where to pitch it. Close to nature so I can train my body and soul, Hammy. Stop calling me Hammy. Or I'm getting far away from these two as possible. Let's go right here, next to this rock. It's a big tent. Let me imagine it. Whoa. Sure. I mean, I doubt I'll live in my tent forever, right? I set up my tent. That's a big first step. Now I'm gonna go to sleep in it and get attacked by a tiger. Okay. <gasps> Shit, how do I get back? My map. Tell me the way back. I'm so lost. Tommy! Tommy! Oh, there you are. I made it back. Ah, Gallo. You must have found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose others still might be searching for the right location. You know, since you're already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. What? No, fuck them. Give me my meds. That's why I came here. Yeah, no. What? Oh, these are my uh, fighting stance. What's going on? Am I trying to fight? What was that position? What was I doing? Oh, I'm trying to grab this, I guess. Oh, ooh, I can't grab the paintbrush. Ooh, I'm weak as shit. All right, Rocket, where you want to go? You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying just to feel the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just see everything in it over forever, so I just grabbed a stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. So now it's in my spot. Okay. I know there's only so far I can throw the stick, but I'm liking this. I'll find you a spot. No. You like it, you take it. For real? I'm not the boss here. Well, if you're sure, actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here, don't think. Looks nice, don't it? Looks great. Just, just, just get the fuck away from me. Awesome. From now on, this won't be j just anywhere on the island. This is going to be my home sweet home. Good for you. I can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock. I wonder how that Hamlet guy's doing. He might be having as much trouble as I was. You were fine. You threw a stick. You said this is going to be my spot. Then I came along and said take it. Maybe you should go see if he needs help too. God, everyone here is such a little bitch. They can't do anything by themselves. 
No, stop writing stuff. Keep pressing buttons, see if there's like a run or run faster. You already set your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gonna have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do a trick, but I don't know. What do you think? Looks good to me. You think so? Awesome. Okay then, how about we do a little visual exercise together? If I put my tent here, it'll look like this. Wow! Visualizing! Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it looks great. Take it. I'm gonna put my stakes down right here and never look back. Hammy. Stop saying hammy. That was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. No, I ain't touching your ass. Don't tell me you already helped Rocket Rocket too. You're like... Like... A true ta champion. I just got here, so I don't have anything ready. But I'm gonna go reward you for this once I'm settled in. Well, looks like it's time to turn back to the plaza. Yes, get away from me. Let's move on. One guy at my own island. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while. Hmm, really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We just need a few supplies to get started. Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Tammy, Rocket, Tommy, and Hamlet can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Gallo and I can work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. Alright everyone, let's get to it. Gallo, would you come see me for a moment? Sure. Why are you splitting up the party like this? Two and four? Shouldn't you do three and three? What do you want? I just wanted to go over all we need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches which should, do should, should do the trick. You can find them scattered throughout the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the orange-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real oranges. No, they're bananas. God. Everybody on this island has an IQ of two. Combined. Two sticks. Three sticks. Four sticks. Five sticks. Six, six. Seven sticks. Eight, six. Nine. Wait, what did, I, what did I just pick up? Did I pick up? What am I picking up? Alright, I lost count. Uh, nine? Ten. Alright, I got my sticks. They're on my pants. You gotta take them out though, I can't touch them. No, not you. Shut up. Get away from me. No. Get away before I kick you. Tom, talk to me. Yes, here are the branches. Lighten my load, please. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for a campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad I'll be sharing this desert I desolate island with such a hard worker. Am I going to be doing everything? And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next tax is rounding up something to stack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evalu evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like oranges, they smell like oranges, they even taste like oranges. So they're apples. And in fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine oranges. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was collecting sticks, motherfucker. You were just looking at the oranges to see if they were oranges? You want me? To go out there and collect six? Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom. Fine. Now I'm sure you don't need much guidance here, but just in case, if you see- Okay, okay. I'm gonna fucking slap you upside the head, Tom. Give me those oranges. Give me those oranges! Oops. What is that? What? What? Stop. Stop. Weed. I got weed. Why do I keep doing that? Stop looking forward. Alright, I think I got six. Who knows? 
Well, well. I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take... Nope. Oh, oops. Press save accident. I assume you say he's going to take the oranges off my hands to give me a blowjob. Who knows? Wow, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get this started with the festivities. You know, it's in the word festivities. Tits. Pull them out, Rocket. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to our new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Oh-ho! Now, we may not have the kind of numbers I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this desert island into... I suppose we can't call it desert island anymore. Hmm, but what should we call it? I mean, yes, I have to decide. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of the island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules. So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, present your ideas. You can't change this. This can be seen by either during local slash online play, so pick an appropriate name. Uh, it's gotta be appropriate, huh? Is something wrong with my controller? I'm not pressing anything. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I wonder if you can have the same names as other people for their islands, because I I have a funny joke. What are those sounds? But, uh... They call it Deserted Island. Let's call it... Wait, how do you spell... Let's call it... Desert Island. Is that how you spell dessert? Yes, it is. Desert Island. Except The world of Animal Crossing is welcoming to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. I mean, I could have wrote Dick Out Island. <laughs> you come to this island, you need to Dick Out. No, Desert Island. Alright, is everyone ready? Let's try saving our ideas at the same time. Ready? Go! Tommy Town? Really? Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is best. Dow seems to have the enthusiasm and naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Gallo suggested... Desert. Dessert. I win. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. As well as everyone is in agreement. We should just go with desert. Dessert. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying desert. Splendid. Therefore, there. F then from now on, this island will be known as dessert. Well, I mean, like dessert island, right? Since you've proven yourself by naming dessert, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make for on this island. I hereby name you resident representative of dessert. Gallo, could you please say a few word, word or two to the new spokesman for your neighbors? Oh my god, this controller. Well, that's what I wanted. A word or two. Hmm. So, we settled a name for an island and we selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. What are we drinking? Beer? Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh juice. Oh. Of course, it's juice from the oranges. Then, without further ado, a toast to dessert and happiness for, for its residents. Cheers. To dessert. We're drinking orange juice. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? You gotta stop it. <laughs> I'm not pressing anything. I don't know if I have another controller. I have the Joy-Cons. Okay, stop it. <laughs> stop walking like that all seductively. How do I pause it? Nope. Okay, hang on. 
Back to it. Got now. Now I gotta play with one in each hand. At least I don't have to tense up an older controller. I can just loosely hold my hands. What am I doing now? Give me more oranges. Give me your oranges. Uh, I'm gonna go collect some more weed, guys. Don't mind me. Okay. What's going on? Do I have to talk to each of you? What are you doing over here, Rocket? I've never settled an island before. Dessert. This is gonna be rad. Room. Stop saying room. You're not in a race car. Having fun? I'm gonna kick off a new workout routine tomorrow, so I'm gonna take it easy tonight. Hear me. Alright, Nook, what are we doing? Having a good time, yes? I know this is a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Okay. Sounds good to me. But first, you probably want this. A leaf? With your very own camping cot, you'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Hmm, just a few items might be useful. To open packages, use the things inside and press A. When you're ready... And when you're ready, you can move to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all for now. Sweet dreams. Okay, bye, Tom. Get me out of here. This is all a bad dream. Wake me up. Put me somewhere else. Seems like a small tent on the outside. Is it going to be like ginormous? On no, it's not that ginormous. A radio. Let's play some copyrighted music. And a lamp. Okay, I wanted something to kill time. Not a lamp. Probably the radio. That's what they got me. Okay, anyway, I got a leaf. Can I move this? Oh, you actually could. Let's put it against the wall. So that way, when a Wendigo comes, it can just take me. Yes. Rest. I'm getting sleepy. It's like 2 in the morning, so I'm actually a little sleepy. But the other thing, I know this game can like basically go on forever. I don't even know how long I plan to play this for. Who the hell are you? KK? So, looks like you decided to make your own way into the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way, right, daddy -o? You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. I thought you were a dog. Being your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends is where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time you wake up to your new life. Oh, well, listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends. That you're seen. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life, and I'll catch you later. So the whole thing with uh, syncing in real time, is that like... Days, or... Like, hour time? Because if so, it's 2 in the morning in this game. Gallo! Are you in there? Oh, I hope you haven't woken you abruptly. I was having a weird dream about a dog playing guitar, don't worry about it. Oh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. I'm sleeping. Alright, I'm up. So, it'd be nighttime if it was in real time, right? Yep. What's up? Ah, there you are. Hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. It's two in the morning. I slept that long? Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Yes, it's quite normal to be worn out for such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust life in your new paradise. First, you'll need one of these. Yes? Oh, cell phone. 
Nook phone. I had this especially made for island residents. Ah, I want to make sure it's working right. So you could try turning it on for me, hmm? It's not working. Throw it out. <laughs> Welcome. Yep, there's a time. 2.20 a.m. <laughs> good, good. Looks like you're getting real re good reception now as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. Say, have you ever used a smartphone before? It's a Nook phone. Sure, I have. Then it should be a breeze for you. In fact, these Nook phones are rather easier to operate than ordinary phones. Oh yes, we simply remove most of the features. I have one thing, one more thing for you. It's my penis. <laughs> what? I know I spill. You're pe you're billing me? I'm sorry. When did this game become about taxes? Bring your grand total. Huh? Forty-nine thousand eight hundred bells. What's a bell? Good one. Wait, you're bringing zeros? Yes, of course. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Well, bells are a currency that we can be exchanged for goods or services here on dessert. Ah, but there's still one problem. That you actually don't actually have any. Yes, of course. How about I write you an IOU? Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for this type of sticky, tricky situation. For the go rate package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. What's that? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles simply by living in your life here in the desert. Desert. I dare say, the more you enjoy your li island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees and much more. So the bottom line is, you need 4,000, 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees, but with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available on your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app and you'll see what you've earned. Some miles of travel. Now, if you excuse me, I must get back to the other miles. But let me heartily congratulate you once again, you're off. Okay, get out of here. I'm so happy that you have a desert, resident in desert. And a client. Okay. I got mail. Yay! My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! I got mail. From now on, the island will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator on the top right of the corner. Cause save and quit by pressing the game. Okay. Quit right now. Hang on, phone. I got mail. Nintendo. Thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show appreciation. I mean, I just downloaded the game and it threw. I didn't update anything. Place it in my pocket and throw it away. Bye, Nintendo. <laughs> Congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy this island life to celebrate a fresh start. We'd like to give you something that is sure to come in handy. Thank you. Put that in my pocket and throw it away. Nope, throw it away. You can have 150 favorites. That's a lot of mail. What I put in my pocket? It's a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> what? Simple DIY work wrench. I want to see this. So you can play Nintendo Switch. Uh, can I put this in my tent? How do I pick this up? Okay. Uh, I'll put that in my tent a little later. I'm just gonna explore a little bit. All right, my phone. Camera. Take pictures of various filters and effects. The pictures will be saved to the album on the home menu. Okay. Uh, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Boo! What am I whistling? Can I pose? Oh, that's to make him look. Okay. Um, my Nook Miles. 
You are enrolled in a Nook mileage program. Earn Nook miles for completing island activities. Then trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook stop in the resident service center. Make the most of your island life. Earn Nook miles. Yay! Claim. Wait, what did I? How did I claim these already? You traveled a long way just to move to our little island, and you're enrolled in the Nook mileage program. So you've earned your first miles. There are lots of ways to earn miles by enjoying island life. Claim it. A thousand miles. Oh, five hundred. Uh, learn how to fish. Okay. Chat with residents. But I don't want to. Catching creepy crawlies. Every bug you catch is one that won't be surprising someone in their sock drawer. Plant flowers. Sell fruit. Sell seashells by the seashore. Put more furniture in your house. Take an island photo. Edit your passport. Write something on the island's bulletin board. Have exterior furniture. Customize design app. Personalize clothes and furniture. Okay. Custom designs. Rescue service. Get me out of here. Use the service in an emergency situation on the island where your path is blocked and you're stuck. You'll be sent to a place such as your home or resident services. Nook miles are generally required for the service. Yes, I've lost my tent. <laughs> it's, it's too far. Okay, what else on my phone? Passport. Change your photo, title, comment, anytime. Okay. Look at that face. Map. It's the map. It's the map. You can also press X, change your thing. Oh, wait, okay, mini map. Uh, always on. Resident services, airport. Hamlet, Rocket, me. Far away from everyone else. And custom designs. Don't have any of these. I did see a lot of people. Please don't create anything that infringes on other rights. Don't use proper information. Or offensive words or images. Okay. Maybe I'll try to make my logo at some point. Oh god, Rocket. Hey, you're too close to my house. Get out of here. Are you catching bugs? I guess I'll just uh, keep collecting oranges and weed. Oh, orange weed? So yeah, I have no idea what the point of this game is. The bulletin board maybe does have some info? We'll use this board to post important notices and other useful bits of information for everyone. Yes, yes. Island residents and visitors alike should feel free to use a bulletin board to communicate with each other, celebrate special events, and more. Okay, Tom Nook. Is that an ATM? Welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable. Hmm. Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you just talk about talk to me. It can help you be productive for some essentials for thriving in an earlier paradise. And if you want to earn some bills, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yes, yes. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it. Didn't I get one of those from Mr. Nintendo? I did. Screw you, Tom. What is this? How could I forget? I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our nuke stop. It's a terminal for services that would further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services. The first is nook shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on an island. Second is an automatic bell dispenser, or ABD, for the bank of nook. We're also working on service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook Miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services, quite beneficial indeed, yes yes. Welcome. 
Once per day, accessing the Nook Miles will award you bonus... Oh, sweet. Please select from the following services. Give me my money. <laughs> Shit. Oh, poor. Oh, man. Thank you for not having any money. Alright, can I buy anything? I got no money. Why are all these leaves? It's probably just like an icon for materials or things you can have. KK Boza. Oh, it's that dog or cat, whatever it is. Come back. We'll see you again. All right, sign off. Uh, what's this? What's the box, Tom? It's a recycle box for all the island's residents. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. Yes, yes, if you see anything you like, feel free to take it right on home. Box is full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first, so don't tell I'm picking up what you want. I'll take that box. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> I'm gonna hoard everything in my little tent. You can't stop me. Alright, I got my own tent. I don't- or my own workbench. I don't need yours. <gasps> it's a raccoon. I need a stick. I'm gonna smack it over the head and eat it whole. I feel like if I was this guy on this island, I would go crazy instantly and start, like, smashing these animals. Can I move this rock? Stone. Alright, well I got some things. Let's customize my little tent. Let's see. I got... A box. See, it's just like I moved in. Can I... Oh, damn it. Box back down. Can I put the switch on the box? Yes! I also got a workbench. Oh, wait. Let me face this way. Workbench. This is the idea why we're here. I wonder how I can memorize it. Oh, what? I have to memorize it? Okay, okay, you gotta stop. Turn off. Shut up. Oh, my phone. Who's calling? Oh, Nook Miles. What did I do? <gasps> oh yes, more furniture. I put a box in my house. <laughs> Five out of 15. I can probably... Oh, Jesus, Rocky, <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. Get away, creep. So if I want to go fishing, I just stare off. Okay. <gasps> it's a seashell. Get back here. Come here. Am I pressing the wrong button? I probably can't pick it up. Stomp on it. Squish its head. Come here. Come here. Ugh, I can't get it. Stomp its head in. I've been playing too much too. So what can I do here? Can I fly back? <laughs> There's a peacock. Get me out of this place. They're all crazy. Orville? Hmm. Hang on a second. How'd you get in here? Could have swore I locked the front door. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're still getting set up here, so there's no fights today. Sorry about that. Should be open for fights tomorrow, though, so be sure to come back then. Okay. The sign reads, message cards coming soon. So is this like to fly to different people's islands? So I know this whole thing is in real time, but I, I heard, I think I heard there's a way you can like fast forward or like skip to different seasons. I don't really care about doing that, but you know, in case. And I doubt I'm going to be playing this game all the time. Like how I play a game, finish it, move on to the next. Maybe this could be a game I come back to, I don't know, days, weeks. And I probably play in between with like not recording and I'm like, Hey, here's what I did in the meantime and I learned how to do all this stuff. Well, this is the workbench, right? 
I see you discovered my DIY workbench. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for island life, hmm? So shall I put your down for the next available session? I love to. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right now at this very moment, so let's get started. I feel like I'm speaking like how Tom looks, like he's like supposed to be energetic, but he just like doesn't give a shit. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I'm supposed to work. I suppose the workshop is overselling it a bit. Hmm. When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, I thought DIY meant like dick inside you. Yes. You'll understand what I mean. Basically, uh, the basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere. Yes. For this particular recipe, we require a mere five br five tree branches. It is, I admit, a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you've collected materials. I've I walked with a f a hoe, five perfectly. Suck it, Tom. Found the necessary materials. Hmm? Well then, let's get started on crafting your fishing rod. Yes, yes. To begin, select a project from the workbench. Get started. Go ahead, give it a try. It's a workbench. Or not a workbench, a toolbox. That was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you for free of charge, naturally. Oh, there's need to set over your duck phone. Would you mind opening it up? Sure thing. Oh, my controller's vibrated. Oh, a new app. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use any time. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of which, speaking of fishing, I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips. In my experience, you should aim for the front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes. I would love to see you catch anything. I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. You're making up words now. So can I craft my own workbench? I have that plan Nintendo gave me. Hmm, okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for a simple DIY workbench. Haha, <laughs> Tom, I don't need you anymore. Although, what do you have? Uh... No? You said you had materials. Maybe you just gave- Oh, you gave them to me. You literally send them to my phone right in front of me. Too many words. Let me craft my own workbench so I don't ever need to come here again. Hardwood and iron nuggets. Okay, it's gonna be a little while before I can not ever talk to Tom again. So, like, in the meantime, like, when they say, like, uh, like, come back tomorrow, do all this, do you have to actually wait? Spider! Oh, you probably need a fishing, or not fishing net, uh, a net. I think I, I think you can craft one. Let me go check real quick. And also, I have seen things of, like, people saying... Like, oh, I thought I'd play this game for like half an hour, and then turns out three hours later, I'm still playing. Flimsy net, five branches. And I'll be back. Cut to the hard-ass montage of me collecting sticks. You got this rocket. Oh, you missed. You suck. Alright, got all five. That spider is probably long gone by now. Give me my net. 
a hammer, a wrench, and I guess a saw to make a... Wait, what did I make? A fishing rod? God damn it. Shit. Did I make two? God damn it. Cut the montage again. Okay, net. Flimsy net. Craft it. Let's do it. Flimsy net. Nope, don't need to keep crafting. Can't craft anything. All right, you guys got any more materials I can take? No more boxes? Okay. So, net. Drift butterfly. Oh, oh, I got it. I caught a moth. It had a ball doing it. Oh, it ha and I had a ball. I was like, it had a ball. <laughs> Why did it have a ball? All right, are there any bugs? Any creepy, or creepy crawlies around? There was a spider around here last time. Where'd you go? You hiding in a tree? Oh, I can't just do that. <gasps> it's a fish. Get ready for this magical fishing extravaganza. Come on, you little piece of shit. Take my rod. He's looking at it. He's tapping it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got it. What is that? A dace. I hope I have some space. Oh yeah, I can run out of space, can I? Ooh. What happens when I run out? I just want to catch some creepy crawlies. Where's all the buggies? Ooh. There's a real ugly one in the background. Get my net out. It's coming towards me. I gotta act fast. Uh, oh. A leaf umbrella. Yeah, you thought that too. A lot of weed. How do I use the net again? Oh, it's the same button that's talking. Come here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh man. I swing back. Oh yeah? Bring it. Come on. Bring it, you little rocket bitch. What is wrong with you? I'm not in the mood for this today. You know it's good for you. You're gonna stop right now. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Can I get on everyone's bad side and just like take over the village <laughs> by being the bad guy? I caught a moth, and it had balls in its mouth. My balls. No, he's still upset. Boo hoo! I got hit in the head with a net. Mm, I'm I'm an idiot. Where's that spider? I don't want that spider. Where's the spider go? It's gonna come in my net or tent later and bite my pants. Can I go inside his place and just wreck it? So what? Go inside. He's not gonna know. Okay, well I've been recording for an hour. It is 2.50 a.m. in the morning and I have work at 10. So I'm gonna go to bed. Don't know if I'm going to keep continuing this recording or not recording or who knows. Uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Be sure everyone down below, leave a like, subscribe, share. Let me know if you want me to keep uh, recording this or just like continuously come back to it. Look at that face. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.